We're following breaking news out of East Haddam this evening. State and Middletown police are confirming to News 8 the body of the infant from Middletown has been found in the Connecticut River. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. The search for the body of the seven-month-old who police say went missing after his father jumped off the Aragoni Bridge in Middletown has come to an end after two long days. The baby's body was found on the Connecticut River near the Salmon River boat launch in East Haddam. News 8's Jason Newton joins us live tonight from the scene where the baby was found on this breaking news story. Jason. And that's right. We're here on the banks of the Connecticut River in East Haddam, right by the Salmon River boat launch. You can see it's still an active scene behind me where the body of seven-month-old Aiden Moreno was found before 8 o'clock. They're still out here processing the scene. And like you said, it's been two days of searching. It started with the father's murder-suicide attempt, and it culminates here tonight. We're learning tonight from court documents that Judge Barry Pincus denied an application by the baby's mother for a restraining order against the father, Tony Moreno. Barry Goldstein was reached via Skype. He's an expert scholar on domestic violence and custody courts. But I think he's part of a bigger problem, uh, you know, a system that is not working. Goldstein says judges don't have the proper training. He calls it a decades old problem, saying that judges are taking risk with children when making these rulings. And the courts develop practices that turned out to be wrong. Um, they're not using domestic violence experts. They're not using current research. And as a result, they tend to minimize or deny um, true allegations of abuse. Adrienne Ayola is the baby's 19 year old mother. She made several allegations of abuse in her written statements to the court. She claimed Tony Moreno, quote, has shoved me, pushed me, forcefully poked my chest and forehead. Oyola said she feared for her safety and the safety of her child, quoting again, I'm afraid he is going to do something to my son. He is angry and probably isn't thinking straight. Judge Pincus did not rule in her favor, saying, I'm just not convinced that there's a continuous threat of present physical pain or physical injury. Make the health and safety of children the first priority in all custody and visitation decisions. Seems obvious, but that's not what the court is doing. Uh, they need to err on the side of safety instead of taking risks with children. And again, we're back out here live on the scene of the Connecticut River in East Haddam. We still have an active police scene. Once again, we can confirm that the body of seven month old Aiden Moreno was found earlier tonight, just before eight o'clock here on the banks of the Connecticut River in East Haddam. Now, charges are likely against the father, Tony Moreno, now that they have positively identified the body of his infant son. We're live in East Haddam tonight. Jason Newton, News 8.